gonna be attached to a later video, guys, of, of tonight. But we're in Big Bear City driving back towards Big Bear Lake. And just look at how beautiful this is. We're just getting surrounded by these clouds. It's so beautiful and they're so massive and tall and high. These are cumulus clouds. Looks like we got a couple cumulonimbus almost here. So, or actually we do. But anyway, this is just a short little clip so you guys can see what's up. All right. Um, and I'm gonna attach this, as I said, to a later video uh, because I'm uploading a video as we speak. So I don't wanna like screw it up for you guys and overlap stuff. But anyway, it's 4.15 p.m., 33 degrees right now in the Big Bear area, folks. I love you. I love you very much. So when the next video comes out, it's gonna be a little darker, so, that, so just understand that's why. Peace in the Middle East. So this is looking backwards. We're, we're in between Division and Stanfield Cutoff right now, but this is looking backwards. Look at how blue and clear it is and nice. I guess it's not too clear, but my God, it's so beautiful. Anyway, this is just another clip. It's about 4.20. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. No, I'm not. All right, this is a beautiful time of day to record, but there's not much going on at the moment. We had that little burst of heavy sleep, as you guys saw, or are about to see in the video that's uploading. It's an hour long, I hope you guys like it. I drove around the whole lake. The first part of the drive was just absolutely beautiful, and blue skies half the time and then when we came around to the other side of the lake and got back it was sleeting heavy <laughs> love you guys we're signing off for a moment moment see oh my gosh dude i just love this place in this type of weather so beautiful man I want you guys to see real quick what bear mountain looks like or snow summit looks like right now as the storm's coming in and uh you can't really see much of bear up to the top left there you can see like clear skies, but that's gonna be full of clouds in just a moment. But yeah, man, and then we look that way and you'll see blue skies once we pass through the stoplight a little bit, maybe. Yeah, see, <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's the way it is, dude. We'll get dumped on over here and you can have clear skies just on the other side of town. It's an eight mile distance from one end of the valley to the other. It's not a big journey, guys, but it's significantly different in the amount of weather. And now we're getting some more snow. All right, guys, so we're pulling up to Summit Boulevard. This is part of those those little clips that I'm doing throughout this evening. We're going to drive up near uh, Snow Summit right now so you guys can just see what's crack a in the mountain line. What's going on in the mountain line up here? What's going on? Still January 22nd, 2021, folks. Folks. I noticed in an, uh, one of my other videos, because one of you pointed it out, that when I was talking, like I always do, just never shut up, it said, or I said 2020. And hindsight's always 2020. <laughs> All right, so we're coming up to the, to the snow summit. Now we're getting a little weather. See, right when you get to the, literally the base of the mountain with these storm clouds that just, just lift, the ore graphic lift right there, and then just everything gets squeezed out of them at the top of the mountain right here. And you, like once the storm passes, like where we're driving right now, it starts to dissipate. And look at that huge sleep pellet right there on the windshield. That was very cool, my friend. I'm a very sleep pellet fan. Look at this. Look at look at Snow Summit. Just beautiful. All the lights. It would be nice to do a nighttime drone flight overwards. Over overwards. Yes, that's very good English, my friend. We'll do it overwards, man. So, oh my gosh, look, see, the Big Bear Snow Rule, folks, that I have coined, because I am special. I am special. Uh, I wonder how much these places cost to rent d during these snowstorms. It's just crazy. Because they're right at the base of Snow Summit. I mean, just awesome. Just awesome. I like the more, like, humongous houses, though. The ones that are just ridiculous. Get like 10 people together in one of the like $3,000 a night houses. Maybe 15 people. <laughs> Bring the price down just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just look at that cute little house right there. Oh, look at all these little, little awesome little houses, man. I love this place. It makes me so happy. It's so warm inside. Oh, it's such a blessing to be here. But we're still getting sleep, folks. It's 32 degrees now. 32. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. We're going to 
roads are now in Evergreen, folks. And Evergreen's gonna drop us off at a dead end, which will dead end into Moon Ridge Road, folks. And Apple's Resort, Apple's Bed and Breakfast. We gotta stay there. We've got to stay there. We have got to stay. Hey, I'm talking to you. We've got to stay there. You guys are gonna love it. And this street is just so beautiful with such big houses, man. I love this street. I love it. It's right, this is the street right behind my house. Or right in front of my house. Whoa, look at that guy. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, look at, look. These are just beautiful, beautiful houses, man. I love them. I love them so much. I could marry one. All right, look, this one won't even fit in the whole camera view. That's crazy. Oh, look at that guy. Huge, huge house. Big house right there, too. There's another big one right there. They're all very big houses, my friend. Okay. So, we are getting some sleet right now still. As you can see, we'll just stop right here for a moment. There's no one behind us. I love this house. I point it out to you guys all the time. I love all these houses, man. But some of these even nice ones, like I, I don't notice them because they're still nice, but it's not as big as these other ones. When you're going this slow on the street, man, you can really, oh, look at that guy. Jeez Louise. I know I'm saying a lot of jeez Louise, but I just, I'm just unbelievably amazed at beauty. The beauty of these houses are very, very nice, my friend. This one right here is very nice, my friend. Look at how big that one is. Oh yeah, that's a big house, folks. I know this is boring, you guys, probably, but I want you guys to see, like most of these you can rent for Airbnbs and stuff, or at least, you know, <laughs> if you know the Airbnb people, like the, the owners prior, oh, look at that mansion. If you know the owners prior, just contact them directly. Come up here, have a good time, man. Just do your social distancing, wear your mask, all that stuff. But don't don't ruin your lives, man. Come on, like when the people in charge, when the cameras and lights aren't shining on them, are not wearing their masks and they're around a lot of people, their families and stuff. Like, like come on, like you guys really think if it was that serious, they would take any risk whatsoever? I mean, come on. Be common sense, my friend. Use the common sense, my friend. I just don't want you guys to to get hurt in in more ways than uh, just this virus deal. I don't want you guys to develop serious depression because I've gone through it, man. Like I'm being forced to like stay home. Um, there's more people dying because they're being forced to stay home because of more more drug overdoses. People can't get elective operations, which some of them are super important. Like. It's just, it's just a real bummer, and I want you guys to really enjoy life, and uh, and just realize, you know, like you're getting hosed. I mean, uh, like, yeah, it's it's a real thing for sure. It it definitely is, but so is the flu, so are drug overdoses, so are car accidents, which kill twice as many, three times as many people each year. Like, it, it's it's just it's selective outrage to control people. That's the way I see it. As I said, I think I. It's, it's, it's real, I guess. Um, but just look at the death rates, you guys. Like seriously, I don't want you guys to be scared. I don't want you guys to be scared. I want you to be vigilant, just like you would this time of year, especially with the flu season and stuff. I want you guys to be very vigilant and very careful. You guys are very special to me, and uh, I don't want you to think I'm an arrogant schmuck for like saying what I just said. This is just what I I believe. Looking at the CDC death rate, the numbers. Like, it's just none of it makes any sense, you guys. And like lots of the tests, like lots of these famous people that have been getting these COVID tests, they have access to like four tests in one day. And literally every single one of them, of these famous people, half the tests came up positive, half of them came up negative. And if you get hit by a bus, like if you're crossing the street and you get hit by a bus and you die on the way to the hospital in the ambulance because you got hit by a bus, if you cough, like most people do as they're dying or like, like uh, just show like a sign of like an illness. They'll say that you showed signs of COVID on the way to the hospital, but clearly you died from getting hit by the bus. Like, but then they'll say you died because of COVID. And if you read part of the stimulus package, it's very clear why. And I understand why the doctors and the hospitals are, are diagnosing a lot more people with it because they get a huge chunk of stimulus money. And if they don't, then they're not gonna be there to help us because they're all gonna be furloughed and we need doctors. So. I don't blame them for, you know, fabricating quite a few of these 
you know, diagnosis. It's it's just what it is, man. But I I just I just talk from the research I do from like the actual research, not from any news media, nothing. I go straight to the government websites. Like, go to the CDC and just actually check it out. Like, you'll be you'll be pretty amazed to hear all the hyperbole on TV, and then actually see the real the real numbers and see what as I said the people in power are doing anyway I love you guys so much just stay safe and we're gonna turn this back on short throughout the day since we did the, the first video it should be uploaded now I don't know why it's taken it's an hour long in 4k so maybe that's why but uh, I have the fastest internet too I made sure I pay for the fastest internet so we can get these uploaded as fast as possible at the hotel it took literally 10 times longer it was amazing but anyway yeah, we're getting a little bit of, uh, of snow right now. Sleet snow. It's 537, 32 degrees. And we're just out doing a little bit of work. Work, work, work. Work. Mop, mop, mop. All day long. Mop, mop, mop. But I sing this song. I'm gonna mop it the floor. I'm gonna make it clean. I'm gonna make it shine with turpentine. I'm gonna mop, mop, mop all day long. <laughs> well, this song. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this big truck, man. Look at this a big dude. I'm telling you, man, I saw like a few military choppers earlier. Um, and they've been doing so much preparation on these roads also, all of Caltrans and whatnot. It's been incredible the amount of work they've been doing. I've ne I've never seen it this deep like with just the preparations for a storm. So this is gonna be pretty big, guys. This is gonna be pretty big. But yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. It's not too gnarly, it's just barely coming down. That's the mountain area over there. That's where it's snowing more, but it's, it's not much. When I just left my house, it, it wasn't snowing. So anyway, we're on North Shore. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, we're in Big Bear City. As you can see, it's, there's there's not that many clouds above us, but it is snowing a little bit. So I'm gonna click this right now and do a little more in a little bit, and then I'll upload the next video. Because we haven't had any like big snow so far. When it first started, I thought, hey, here it comes, but it was just a little shot in the dark. And you're to blame. You give snow a bad name. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. We're starting to get some good snow now. We're on the other side of town. We're coming up to Paradise Road, which is what we're turning down, and, or else we would be heading into the Baldwin area on Highway 18 around the back. But yeah, look at this, guys. This is insane. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I can't wait to upload this video. Unfortunately, the other video is gonna... Man, that sucks. I spent all that time, and, and like no one's gonna wanna watch it because this one's gonna upload faster. But anyway, let me get back to this hand. Hey guys, that was a little patch of pretty good snow coming down, wasn't it? Oh, snap. Hey, this is a Domino's guy. They're coming to my house right now too, so I have to get back there. And then we'll get this video put together, my friend, and get it going. We'll get it going, my friend. It's going to be very good. Yo soy muy feliz con los videos, porque yo me gusta, uh, yo me gusta hacerlos, porque las personas son muy felices y uh, it's, it's, it's algo bien para hacer para nosotros, para todos. Yo me gusta personas muchísimo. Y yo me gusta ayudar. Y si yo puedo ayudar, todo está bien. Y que te vaya bien, amigos. Ay, 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 look, I just missed this. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh my gosh, look at this, man. And we're not going to be able to turn on our brights. Yeah, we are, because we're going to go... Oh, no, we're not. Look at this. I hit the gas, and we're not even spinning on this stuff, dude. How crazy. Dude, you got to love it. you got to love it. I am just the man when it comes to this stuff. Now watch me crash right now. That would suck. That'd be embarrassing. Yeah, I'm the man on this stuff. Yeah, right. Smash. Hulk smash. Hulky smashy. Oh, my goodness. We're going to pause it for a moment. Yeah, we're getting a little fogged up in here. It's pretty fogged up in here. It's a fogged up situation. Don't get it fogged up. We 
got a good snowstorm here. Don't get it fogged up. If you get the windshield fogged up, it's going to be a problem. So don't fog it up. Please, guys, never fog it up. Whatever you do, just don't fog it up. Do the best you can without fogging it up. <laughs> All right, I'm turning it off for a second, okay? All right, because I'm going to take the back streets, and we're going to see some good snow because I'm going to turn on the brights. Okay, so we are on Sawmill now, and what Sawmill does is it takes us back on the main back road going from Big Bear City to, to the Big Bear Lake area. And basically, yeah, um, it takes you to show it takes you to Sugarloaf Boulevard basically and Sugarloaf Boulevard is, is the only one that goes all the way through for the most part all the way through to uh you can take Sugarloaf Boulevard from Division Road and basically weasel your way all around until you get to uh to like Maple and Sugarloaf but yeah guys look at this this is sick it's starting to look beautiful so because I don't want it to take forever to upload I'm gonna stop it right now my friend just for a minute until it picks up my brand. Yes. Well, forget it. I hate being in this thing with all the snow without talking to you guys. I really feel like you guys are here with me. If you guys understood the sensation that I get. Running down my leg. <laughs> if you understood the sensation that I get, man, it, it's a great feeling. You guys bring such warmth and love and joy into my, into my life. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just so, so amazed with you guys. I love you guys so much. Can you believe all this snow though? Like, what's, what's going on here, man? This is beauty. This is beautiful, man. I bet by my house it's gonna be snowing a lot more. I am so happy, 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 joy, joy. Oh, Yogi, he's more punk than me. Dude, who invited Peter Griffin? Come on. <laughs> Just kidding. Of course I'm kidding. Because that was not even a good impersonation. But I try. But I try. Oh my God, do I try. Jump down all day. Oh, evolution. Man, that's that's like the era I grew up with. Like the, like the four non-blondes had that one hit wonder song. <laughs> it's actually not a bad song but I grew up on uh, punk rock and reggae I grew up right on the water in Newport Beach right at the beach so um, naturally the skateboarding and surfing crowd was into punk and reggae and I just I fell in love with it more than most though um, especially the reggae unbelievable man I like it a lot. So we're on Sugarloaf Boulevard. We're on the Boulevard of Broken Sugarloafs. All right. Oompa loompa loompa de do. We've got a car that's stuck here for you. Oompa loompa, drive on the snow. I do not know where I'm supposed to go. Should I go left or go right or go straight? I think we'll go straight and get to the gate. I really am not on drugs, you guys. I really am not on drugs. I just get so excited for this. I don't know why I get so excited for this. I'm this like punk rocker with like tattoos and this and that and and been in some some stuff in my life and like and I, I feel like I'm a little kid right now. This is just so cool, man. This is so cool. And the fact that a lot of you feel just like this too, like, like that's why this is so exciting for me because I can bring this joy to you guys the best that I can. And since you guys are basically sitting right here next to me, hey, let's all look over to the left at the same time. See, we're all together. Let's look to the right at the same time. Hey, there we go. Hey, see, 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 now let's, let's, let's look straight again. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just so happy right now. This is so beautiful. Here we go, my friend. It's so beautiful, my friend. Oh, we, here we go. All right, I'm gonna turn it off for a second. Ah, no, I won't. Dang it, because we're not too far. We're maybe four more minutes away. So we're on Division Road right now. This is another road that'll cut through into Moon Ridge, okay? 
So if you're in Big Bear City, coming towards Big Bear or driving towards Big Bear Lake, Division Road is like the separation point basically between Big Bear Lake and Big Bear City. But if you take a left on Division Road instead of going straight towards Big Bear Lake, then you will be on this road right here and it'll it'll basically take you back here and if you want it, it'll drop you off in Moon Ridge you it, it can take you into Upper Moon Ridge you can even get back where we just were through here through uh, some of the side roads so there's a lot of options up here and I want you guys to make the best of your time I know you guys don't get to spend a lot of time up here and when you're stuck in traffic the whole time it, it pisses me off because uh, I don't want you guys to have to deal with that. Like you spend so much money up here to have a good time and all the money you spend taking time off work. Like think about it, you're spending money and taking time off work. That's double the money going. All the gas, all the preparation. Um, don't short, don't short end yourselves guys, please. With this, with these next storms. This one's not, not so bad. Like, yeah, it looks pretty gnarly right now, but you'll be good. You'll be good, I promise. Yeah, hang on just a, oh wait. Yeah, hang on a second. I gotta take this call. All right guys, so we're on McAllister, which is, it's like, or wait, is this McAllister? Yeah, it's, oh wait, 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 what is going on here? Okay, one of the wide, wide world sports going on here. Um, is this McAllister? Scheisse, I, I think it is McAllister, or like Cougar, oh man, I don't freaking know. I know exactly where I'm at. I just, for some reason, I'm just spacing. Oh, look at these people not having good time. See, these people french fried when they should have pizza they're gonna have a bad time. French fry when you're supposed to pizza, gonna have a bad time. Everyone's fine, they're just putting on chains. They're putting on the chains. This is gonna be dangerous right here. This is dangerous. This road is so dangerous. That road. Oh my gosh, it really is. I've slid down this before, it's so dangerous. This road so dangerous. That road. <laughs> Dude, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, just kidding. You know what, I shouldn't joke like that with you guys because one of these days it's not gonna be like a joke. But I'm really confident in this type of weather. I like it a lot, a lot. <laughs> This is Cougar Road, it turns into McAllister. As you can tell this is one of the back roads, guys. This is actually one of the main back roads to get into Big Bear Lake and to Moon Ridge. Believe it or not. It's so pretty. This is so pretty. I like it so pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, hot water make the noodle fatter. It's a bat, big fat noodle. The hot water make the noodle fatter though. It make it fatter, don't do that. All right, here we go. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. I hope my pizza guy didn't get there already. I left him the money taped to the door. I just don't want him to get there. And the money blow away. That wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good. I don't like it when money blows away. We're, let's get a little loose right here. Yeah. Oh, man. Stupid car. It sticks too good. Unbelievable. Can I try? Can I try? Oh my God, do I try? Stay in my lane and not slide. All right, so this is gonna be it for this video to show you guys what's going on. You can see it's starting to snow, it's starting to pick up, obviously once again towards the end of the video, but that's okay. <laughs> it's watch time, <laughs> whatever that is. I'm just kidding you guys. I love you guys. And don't, don't ever forget that if you watch all my videos, all 2,500 of them of, of the weather up here and stuff, in five and a half years. You'll never hear me ask you guys to subscribe, hit the like or, or that notification thing. Not once, okay? Like, and I, I'm, I'm not pointing that out for like reverse psychology, okay? I'm just saying, I just want you guys to know that I do this from my heart. I love to do it. 
And yeah, a couple bucks do come in every now and again, but it's really not what you guys would think. Like it would pay for like, oh man, like two electric bills in this little place. So anyway, I love you guys. Let's, uh, hang on a second, I just wanna check it out real quick. Yeah, I love you guys. My weather station's been taking a beating. That poor thing on the left. But anyway, I love you all. January 22nd, 2021. End of this, three degrees, 601.